Now we are going to discuss the history of industrial and organizational psychology. The field of industrial and organizational psychology is almost as old as the field of psychology itself. As you know, to understand any field, it helps to understand how the field started and evolved. Now we are going to look at some of the pioneers of industrial and organizational psychology, as well as some of the defining studies and developments in the field. First, we are going to talk about Hugo Munsterberg. The term founding father of industrial organizational psychology is usually associated with Hugo Munsterberg, who taught at Harvard University. His 1913 book on psychology and industrial efficiency is considered to be the first textbook in industrial organizational psychology. The book is the first to discuss topics such as how to find the best person for the job and how to design jobs to maintain efficiency by dealing with fatigue. Here is a photo of Hugo Munsterberg, who is considered the founding father of industrial organizational psychology. It is also important to note that he was heavily influenced by the writings of Wilhelm Wundt, the founding father of experimental psychology. Next, we are going to discuss Frederick Taylor. 